He was a Hall of Famer who played 17 seasons for the New York Yankees, including 2,130 consecutive games. It was a record that stood for 56 years. No wonder they called him the Iron Horse. But Lou Gehrig's career ended abruptly after he got a bad break, as he put it, and was diagnosed with ALS in 1939. Since then, there has been little progress in finding a cure. But those touched by the disease are confident that could soon change with Major League Baseball holding its first ever Lou Gehrig Day. The amount of awareness that this is going to raise for years to come, not only today, but every year, um, is incredible. Major League Baseball chose June 2nd for good reason. It was the day Gehrig got his first start at first base for the Yankees, and also the day he passed away from the disease. But it took years for the dream to become a reality, with patients and families urging MLB teams to mark the day. That it was a grassroots effort, once again, by patients and families who were affected by this disease, who knew it was unacceptable, found it to be unacceptable that there was not a day honoring Lou Gehrig, and made it happen. And as part of the pregame ceremony, several current Yankees helped recreate the words that Lou Gehrig shared on that day on July 4th, 1939. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Yankees ace Garrett Cole remembers doing a report on Gehrig back in elementary school and said learning about his values and character is what makes him proud to put on pinstripes today. What we learned from Gehrig is, is, is some of the virtues that I think we all try to aspire to be. And, uh, you know, humility, sportsmanship, hardworking, perseverance. Now he and everyone involved hope that by Major League Baseball stepping up to the plate, they can find a cure and strike out ALS for good. It kind of goes beyond baseball. Uh, and it really touches the human spirit. You can help by texting ALS to 44321 to make a donation. Reporting from Yankee Stadium, Joe Masiri, Pix11 News.